it is Friday and I went to the Dollar Tree. I was definitely going through withdrawal. I have over 10 bags full of stuff here. I went a little crazy. Obviously withdrawal was definitely happening because I picked up a lot of stuff from all over the store. So I've got some holiday stuff, I have some food things, I have some organizational stuff, some miscellaneous, just random things thrown in. So if you guys love the Dollar Tree and you wanna see the major haul that I have coming up, stick around. Okay, first I'm gonna show you guys the few items that did not go into a bag and I am just gonna pick through bags. I did not separate or anything like that, so it's just gonna be random mixed bags here. So first thing, they do have some new organizational bins in two different colors. I only picked up the orange, but they do have this like burgundy, reddish color also for the fall. I picked up this orange bucket to go upstairs in kind of like our homeschool area just to organize some of the smaller things that I have. Then I've got these three different like tray-like organizers. I've got this corner shelf, then I have the step shelf ah, and the cabinet shelf and I am going to be redoing my spice cabinet in my kitchen because it is crazy. I have a hard time finding things in there. I do have some organization on the doors but the cabinet itself is ridiculous and overflowing with just random things. So I picked up some bins also somewhere in here but I'm gonna try to incorporate these shelves in there as well. All right, bag one. I picked up two different garlands in the fall like decor area. This one is called Maple Leaves and it's five feet. This one is also five feet and I guess they're calling this Maple Leaves as well. But they are two different kinds. So this first one has like red leaves and then it also has these almost like spider web looking leaves on it. And then this one has little berries and an acorn. So I'm gonna set these out. I think I'm gonna put these in front of my TV area. All right, I got a Halloween decoration here. So these are called hanging decorations. There's three of them in here. And there's, let's see, it says spider body and spider legs. So maybe I have to put them together, I'm not sure. But there should be three different spiders in here. Oh yeah, it does show me how to put it together instructions on the back. So I'm going to be putting these together and putting them outside somewhere during the month of October. Three different stencil sets. So I did get one kind of like educational one. This is the letter stencils. There's 36 in here and it does come with some markers as well. Um, there's eight different stencil sheets, three assorted color markers. Okay, so that's what comes in here. Just got this for my girls to practice drawing their letters. And then these two are just strictly for fun. So it's the same thing. It has eight different stencil sheets and three colored markers. This undersea fantasy one with the mermaid has 51. And then this fantasy unicorn has 58 different stencils in there. Another hanging decoration that I picked up is this one has 10 pieces in it and they are all different ghosts. Then I picked up these three packs. I'm actually going to make some slime with my kiddos and I thought it'd be fun to put some like Halloween scary things inside the slime. So I did pick up this one. It just says creatures. There's 12 in there. You can hear my girls running around. Then this one has four and it is rats. And then this one is 12 also and it's eyeballs. But I thought that would be super fun to make some slime with them and put these in the slime. Picked up this mask and I'm thinking that I'm going to wear this when I'm out trick or treating with my kiddos. Got a book. This one is Hungry Girl 200 Under 200 and it's just desserts. So there's 200 dessert recipes in here and all of them are under 200 calories. So I thought this would be fun, especially since my girls are home with me. I have twin girls that stay home. They're not old enough for kindergarten just yet. And I wanna get them in the kitchen more with me. So I thought this would be fun. Of course, all kids love desserts. So I thought they would be really excited to actually learn how to cook if it was something that they knew they were gonna to love to eat afterwards. Next bag is full of snack goodies. We are having movie night this weekend and instead of just buying bags of candy I bought some snack boxes that way I can still use them 
upcoming for like school lunches and just random snack time and it's some stuff that I haven't tried before. So I did pick up these and it is Miss Freshly's Delicious Deals Oatmeal Creams. I got these also Miss Freshly's Delicious Deals and these are just called Fudge Brownies with candy topped. Got some stuff to bake with the holidays upcoming and like school holidays. My older two are gonna be home more. Thought it would be really fun to get in the kitchen and baking and things like that. So I did pick up these and they sell these at Walmart for, I think they're $2.88, they might be more. So for a dollar, it's the same exact size, 12 ounces. That's an awesome deal. So it's by Betty Crocker and these are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shell Shocked Sugar Cookie Mix. And then it comes with the edible images as well. Then I got this one because my daughter Rose, one of the twins, absolutely loves peanut butter cups. So she's gonna like this for sure. It's by Betty Crocker also, the Reese's Peanut Butter and Chocolate Premium Dessert Bar Mix. This bag is full of a bunch of little things, but one bigger item, so I picked this up. I thought it was super, super cute. My kids love, or my twins, they love animals. They love going to the zoo. This is a giraffe, so I thought it'd be fun to just stick in their room somewhere. I do have another one, the different animal, somewhere in these bags. Okay, one of the random items, I just got these wig caps for my oldest daughter. She does a lot of cosplaying, and she has quite a few wigs that she puts on, but I can always see her hair sticking out sometimes, so I thought this might help her. I got some nails. Now, everybody raves about the Dollar Tree nails, and I like them, but I definitely don't love them. They do not last a week on my nails. I don't know what it is. I do have very, very tiny fingers. I don't have any on right now, and I also bite my nails, so I don't know. If my nails were longer, maybe they would stay on better, but they break off, and I have to re-glue them several times over the course of a week, and then I just end up taking them off, letting my nails breathe for a little bit, and then I'll try some more. But still, for a dollar, you can't beat it. Also, the sizes are a little bit big for my fingers, but I still like them. So these ones are not new styles. I have seen people haul these several times. I've just never seen them in my store. So I picked up these ones. They're kind of like a French manicure, but they have the little black dots and the black bow. And then this one, same thing, French manicure, but it has like a little silver glittery accent under the white part, the tip. And then I really like the kid ones because these ones are the size of my nails. I have very, very tiny fingers. Um, so I picked these ones up. I thought they were super cute. They're just orange. And then there's a couple accent pieces with silver hearts. I thought that would be fun for the fall. Picked up some labels. I have some baskets on my stairs. I have one for each child. And sometimes I forget the colors of the, of the kids. I put them in order from oldest to youngest but I still forget, mainly it's for my twins. I forget what color goes with which child. So I picked up two different things because I'm not sure what's gonna work on them. So I picked up these removable labels. There's 15 in there. I know I can use them on other things if they don't work on these particular baskets, but I also picked up the white string tags. There's 30 of these in here. And um, this is probably what's gonna work best on these baskets because it does have a handle. Uh, so we'll see, but that's what I picked these up for. I needed some nail files, so I picked this one up. I thought it was perfect. I can keep one of the smaller, the smaller one in my purse and then the bigger one here at home. Some face stuff. I haven't seen this before. It's a collagen spa treatment mask. There's two of them in here. It says anti-aging serum, soothing 15 minute facial therapy, minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, helps to firm, tone, and revive skin elasticity. So I picked that up. And then this one, and yeah, they're both by the same brand, Global Beauty Care. And these are just cleansing nose strips. They're the charcoal ones. And there's three of them in here. Always a repeat buy. These are the floss picks that my kids use. Definitely cheaper to get them at the Dollar Tree than at Walmart. So they are a 30 pack. I have three little kids that use these, so they last us 10 days. So I went ahead and picked up two packs this time. Another new thing in the kid like toy aisle. I know the closer we get to Christmas, Dollar Tree is gonna be pulling out some new toys and things like that, so I always make sure I check that aisle out. But I thought these were fun. My son Bryce has 
he uses it for Legos, but these shelves in his room that are the perfect size for little figures to stand on, and I thought these would be super cute. They are marble. They're called paperweights, and these were the only two that they had, so that it's Captain America and Iron Man. They had an entire end cap full of e.l.f. products. I didn't pick up everything that they had because I know some of this stuff I'm not going to like, but I did get a selection so I could show you just in case your Dollar Tree Carry some of the oh some of the elf stuff. I got these shine eraser oil blotting sheets, and there are 50 in here. I think that's awesome for a dollar. I got some lipsticks also, or lip different lip items. This is a matte lip color dash of pink, and it almost looks like a crayon, but you could apply it as like a liner and a lip color possibly, but this is in Dash of Pink. They did have a red one also, but I'm not huge on the red. Um, and then I got this to use with the crayon. This is a Hyper Shine Lip Gloss, and it is in the color Blossom. Speaking of red, I did go ahead and get something just to try out for the fall, just to you know, put some color on my lips, but this is the Lip Kiss Balm in EXO Red. So I'm hoping that since it's a balm, it's not gonna be like bright red, it's just gonna be tinted, we'll see. Then the last e.l.f. item I got is actually, I'm a little scared of it, but we'll see. If I don't like it, maybe my daughter will like it. Um, it's Lip Lacquer in Burgundy. And I've seen all like in magazines and on some commercials that brown is really starting to become trendy right now on your lips. So I was like, eh, you know what, for a dollar, I'll give it a try. If I don't love it, then you know, it, a dollar for makeup is really, really cheap, especially some items and especially shopping at Walmart, even though, you know, you think going into Walmart, it's like a cheaper store, but it's expensive, makeup is expensive. So trying something new for a dollar, I have no problem with that. Another repeat buy, my kids love donuts. I don't pick these up every single time, but every so often I will. There's four packs in here, which is awesome. And then there's four like little mini donuts in each pack. I have four kids, so if they all have it one day for breakfast, that's one breakfast with like a glass of juice and some fruit for a dollar. I am super excited that I found this. I have seen multiple people haul this on YouTube and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not, my store is not going to carry it. They had three boxes and I was really tempted to pick up all three, but I was like, you know what, what if I don't like it? I don't know. So I picked this up. It is Pop Secret Sweet and Crunchy Cinnamon Roll and it like pops up glazed. You don't have to do anything extra to it. So I thought that would be fun, especially since we are having movie night this weekend, have a little sweet popcorn. I always pick up table covers from the Dollar Tree. I love them. I love them for easy cleanup when I'm doing like messy art activities with the kids or even if I'm having people over just to spruce up my table a little bit and then I don't have a, like a lot of cleanup afterwards, especially when it's kids. They make a mess. Um, so I did pick up two Halloween ones and this one has pumpkins all on the bottom and this one kind of has like a haunted house kind of theme. I got some googly eyes. I have two windows right next to my front door and I thought it'd be super fun this Halloween to put an eyeball in each window, kind of make it look like somebody's looking out. I don't know, I may go back and get another one and put two, both of these in each window so it looks like two people are looking out. I don't know yet, but they glow in the dark, kind of shows you on the back here, but I'm really excited about this. I think it's fun. I picked up another book. I have so many books to get through but they're only a dollar and there's no guarantee that these books are gonna be there all the time. So I did pick this up. This one is actually a TV series that I have never watched because we don't have cable. If it comes out on Netflix, I'm gonna watch it. It sounds really interesting, but it's called The Slap and it says it's on NBC. So it's an NBC event series. It's an international bestseller. So I picked this up on the back. It says it is $16. You guys, I have never, ever seen DVDs at my dollar store before. I've seen lots of people haul them over like the year and a half that I've been actively watching YouTube videos and I was amazed. Now, I got three Blu-rays 
for a dollar each, Blu-rays, that's crazy. And then I did get one DVD, just because it sounded fun. I thought my daughter and I, my oldest daughter, would like to watch this. So this one is Take Me Home Tonight. This is the DVD. And then the three Blu-rays that I got, I got Taken 3, Safe Haven, this is a Nicholas Sparks movie. Wait, is this one a Nicholas Sparks? No, this one is a Nicholas Sparks. Okay, this one's just a really funny, or really cute love story. This one is a Nicholas Sparks, The Longest Ride. So, I thought those would be fun to watch and have. We don't have a huge DVD collection because we buy all of our videos off of Amazon and iTunes, but for a dollar, yeah. <laughs> I am really looking forward to using this. So, this is a brain mold. Uh, is, yeah, it just says gelatin mold, but it's a brain. And I have packets of jello. I'm totally gonna make some brain jello for my kids. I think they would get a kick out of it, and it's just gonna be a fun Halloween, like cook with me in the kitchen with the kids, and they're gonna have a good time eating it afterwards. One of my daughters is going to be Elena, the, the Disney Elena princess for Halloween. And when we were in the store, I was like, you know what, this is a lot cheaper than buying a wig and the wigs that we've gotten for them in the past like always fall off, they get hot in them. So I thought this would be a good kind of compromise in a wig to change her hair color for that costume. Um, but when we were in the store, Elena has brown hair. I think she has brown hair, but my daughter insists that she has black hair. So we picked up both of them. I'm gonna show her or she's gonna watch Elena and then decide which one she wants to wear. My dog is right here smelling the wigs. What is that? You're so silly. Um, so she's gonna decide which one she wants to wear, but I went ahead and picked up both of them. They do have like some fun colors also. They have pink, they have orange. I think they had a blue, um, but I just got the brown and the black one. My husband was with me when we went to the Dollar Tree. So a couple of these items he picked up. This is one thing that he picked out. We have a life-size doll in our house and he wants to do something with this and that doll which will be probably in our vlog coming up but he's going to try to scare everybody i already picked up a halloween sign that i intended on putting outside but i saw this and i fell in love with it i just thought it was so cute it's really pretty i love like the rustic theme of it but yet it's halloween um, so I might put the one that I picked up a while ago upstairs, like outside one of my kids' doors or somewhere else around the house, but this one, it was super, super pretty, so this one is going outside. My husband loves their cranberry juice. He loves it. He will drink this now that I've filmed it and I put it in the refrigerator. This is going to be gone in less than a week for sure, but he loves their cranberry juice, so he's the one that put this in the cart. What is a Dollar Tree haul without candles? Now these are new to me. I don't know if anybody has hauled these yet. I haven't seen them haul them, but they are the old Williamsburg brand, which a lot of people rave about. I have not personally burned any William, old Williamsburg before, um, but these are all like the fall scents. So this one is autumn day. And then there's pumpkin cheesecake and salted caramel. Now there are four. There is a red one, which I think is like rhubarb pie, but I wasn't a fan of the, the dry smell of that. Um, so I did not pick that one up, but there are four in all, but these three, I really love the smell of these. They're, oh my gosh, they're so, they smell so good. I hope they have a really good throw when I burn them. Got some kitchen towels. I was really hoping to find a fall kitchen towel also. I did pick one up from Target last week, but I needed another one for my oven. I kind of have two places in my kitchen that I wanted to display like a holiday towel, um, but no fall ones at my Dollar Tree anyway yet. Um, but I did find two Halloween ones that I thought were super, super cute. There's this little pumpkin theme, like the stacking pumpkins and then the haunted house. This is another thing that my husband totally dropped in the cart. He thought they would be super fun to play around with with the kiddos. So these are glow in the dark vampire teeth and it is a set of 12. So you get quite a few of them for a dollar. Christmas, like really? Yep, but I had to pick them up because 
each one of us, we are a family of six, and we're all going to make our own ornaments this year. So I'm glad that it came in a pack of two. Now they did, they did have these giant ones also. I might go back and pick up like two, maybe four, depending on which one of my kids would be interested in doing it, just for them to make like a bigger ornament. But I did pick up these ones, not sure exactly what we're going to do, fill them, paint them, whatnot, but we're all going to do like a family activity where we're making our own ornament and hanging it on our Christmas tree. Got some paper bags. We have been picking up Bountiful Baskets lately, which is kind of like a local produce thing like co-op that we get produce from every other week. Um, and some of the produce, it's really good to keep in a paper bag in your refrigerator. And I could have sworn we had some, but we didn't. So I went ahead and picked up this. These are gonna last us forever. There's 40 in here for a dollar. My kids love these. They did not have the pretzels this time. They just had the breadsticks with the cheese dip. Um, so I was really hoping to get the pretzel ones because my kids prefer those, but they do like these ones as well. Again, just another super easy snack or something to add to your kid's lunchbox. Halloween lights. I know you can't see them, but I do have some leaf lights behind me that I'm keeping in my office area for the holiday. Um, but when it's October, I'm gonna switch them out with these pumpkin lights and then I'll put the leaves back in for November. This is an awesome deal, you guys. So these are fruit snacks and this is a full size box of fruit snacks. So they are all Betty Crocker. Um, these are the only two ones that they had. I don't know if other tree, other Dollar Trees are gonna have like other varieties, but I picked up the only three that they had because my kids love fruit snacks and another just easy snack or throw in a lunchbox. But I got the only Ninja Turtle one they had. There's 10 pouches in here. So they're Ninja Turtle flavored, or not flavored, themed fruit snacks. And then I got the two ones of the Supergirl Superhero Girls by DC, so I got two of these. Cleaning products, I picked these up. Gosh, was it the last time that I went to Dollar Tree? I don't know, because it's been a couple weeks. Um, but I love them, they were super easy, and for a dollar, there's five in here. Um, just easy to like pre-wash some of your pots and pans before you stick them in the dishwasher. Uh, so definitely love these, I will continue to pick them up. Then I got these Brillo Basics. They are reusable wipes. There are 12 in here. On here it says multi-use everyday dishes, cleaning, kitchen, bathroom, and that's kind of what I do. I use them, I'll set like one in each area of the house. That way I'm not using like the one that I'm using in my bathroom in my kitchen or vice versa. Um, but I love these. I don't reuse them a lot. I maybe use them two, possibly three times, and then I toss them and get another one, but still, 12 for a dollar is a really good deal. I feel like this is taking forever. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather and talking this long. Whew, start to feel a little nauseous. So I'm gonna try to hurry this up. I've got four more bags. So picked up this, it is by Jot. They're calling it a desk organizer and that's pretty much what I'm gonna use it for. I just don't know which area specifically in my house. I have a desk in my kitchen and I have a desk that I'm using as a vanity in my bedroom. So I'm gonna use this in one of those two places. All right, another thing that I'm excited to try out this Halloween, we've never really been big on the decorating for Halloween just yet, just because our kids were kind of on the younger side. But this year, I feel like they are super excited. They're at that age where they really know about trick-or-treating and all of that. So I got this door cover and it says it lights up. The battery is included. Um, it's a haunted house. So I'm excited to give this a try. But for a dollar, I thought that was pretty good for a decoration. Then I got this before I saw the mask. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear them together just to be silly or if I'm gonna wear this as just like a fun little Halloween kind of dressing up or the mask or them together. Uh, just for me <laughs> to dress up a little bit for Halloween. I thought the kids would get a kick out of that. They have some really cute magnets and I have a couple different magnetic boards around my house. So I thought this one was really cute. I picked this one up. It says family is forever. Got this hook. My kids have been really into Descendants lately and Descendants 2 has Harry, which is Hook's son in it. So I got this, I thought they would have a really good time dressing up and playing with this while they're watching the movie. 
All right, some more organizational items. I picked two of these up. These are going to go in my bedroom in my vanity. Then I got this small little basket for my spice cabinet that I'm going to be reorganizing. I just couldn't help myself. There is no way in the world that I need more notebooks in this house, but I just could not get over how cute these were. So I picked up all four of the ones that I saw. These are like the perfect size to put in my purse. Um, but like, look at this one, you guys. That is so adorable. And I love that it has this little rubber band to keep it closed. So it's kind of like a list pad style notebook. And does it tell me how many sheets are in here? I don't see that it tells me how many sheets, but this is a really good size. So it's going to last me a while, but I got this one with the cups on it. This one with the really pretty flowers. This one with the birds. And then this one with the little lace detail. I just thought they were so, so cute. All right. These have been around for a while. And I really am bummed that I did not pick them up sooner, but I recently saw someone on YouTube put these to the test and see if they actually worked. And they did. They got so humongous that I know my kids are going to absolutely love these. So I don't know if I'm going to hold on to them for maybe like a rainy day. I don't know if I really want to do this inside. I don't know, maybe in the bathtub. Um, or hold on to these till like next summer, but I am really excited you guys like these get so so big Here's the other canvas print that I picked up that I'm gonna hang in my girls room Just loved how bright the colors were and it's a little zebra. I Thought these were interesting. I don't know how they're gonna taste I don't know if my kids are gonna like them, but they do love mac and cheese so these are by Fridays TJ Fridays Party Bites Premium Puffed Corn Snacks, and they are the mac and cheese flavor. There are three, I think, one, two, three bags in here, and each bag is 1.25 ounces, 170 calories. I thought this was just fun and just to get for my kiddos to try. Okay, this is what happens when you go to two Dollar Trees back to back and you get so much stuff that you forget what you got at the first Dollar Tree. So, I did find a fall towel. <laughs> I pulled out the Halloween towels first because I did the second store today and then I did the first store yesterday um, and then I just put all the bags by me. But apparently yesterday I did find a fall towel and I just forgot about it. So this is the fall towel that I found at the other Dollar Tree that I went to. And this one's really, really soft. So yay, now I have two fall ones and two Halloween ones for my kitchen. I got some stickers, not that I need any more stickers either, but I just thought these were super, super cute and I do not have these ones yet. I'm pretty sure this is the last Christmas thing I got. The Christmas stuff that they had out was very, very small, like one little rack in the middle of the store. But I thought these were really cute, whether I'm going to use them in my planner or use them with my kiddos as like counting or anything like that. But these are stickers, there's 36 in each package and they're snowflakes. So I got some blue ones and some silver ones. Last bag, oh my gosh, last bag. And the majority of it is snacks. So I have seen these hauled quite often by different people who absolutely love them. So I picked these up. They are the Mighty Wrights Cinnamon Apple Puffs. Repeat buy, we all love these guacamole chips. They are so good. Another repeat buy, these are my absolute favorite snacks from the Dollar Tree. I love them and I don't feel bad eating a whole bag, even though I try not to. I try to break it up into like two different snack times, but so, so good. These are the Popcorners in the Cheddar Feel Good flavor, and then these ones are Krispies in the Cheddar Cheese. Another repeat buy, my son is the one who actually absolutely loves these. Every time I come back from the Dollar Tree, he asks me if I pick these up for him. I don't all the time, but I did this time. I got a lot of snacks this time. It's gonna hold us over for a while. But these are the soft baked cookies and they're iced oatmeal. They are really, really good, you guys. And they're a big cookie. Like, I only give him one at a time. And last two things that I picked up are some Halloween decor. They are two skulls in like a silver color. 
So this one is just a skull. I thought it was really, really cool looking. Not sure where I'm gonna put it yet in the house, but I'm really excited to decorate for Halloween this year. And then this one is kind of like a globe. It's got some black glitter in there and the head is in a globe on like a pedestal. I thought that was really, really awesome. Yay! Okay, you guys, that was everything that I got from the Dollar Tree. I know this video is super, super long because I actually had to change out my battery in about the middle of this video. So I'm sorry about that, but I was so excited to go to the Dollar Tree having not been for a couple weeks. I'll put the last time that I went to the Dollar Tree in the iCard up above and in the description if you guys wanna see what I got last time. But I have to go once a week or this happens. I buy way too much. But again, I wanted to share, you got, share with you guys everything that I picked up and oh, I was just happy to get into the Dollar Tree. So if you guys love Dollar Tree hauls and if you love decorating for the holidays, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. Every Friday is some kind of shopping haul. Uh, there, every other day I do post something. It's not all shopping hauls, but I will put yesterday's in the corner somewhere on the screen and I will see you guys tomorrow with something new. Bye guys.